Banshee today is a well-known figure. She is liable to pop up around other ghosts, witches, and goblins for Halloween. She has also appeared in some fantasy shows, video games and movies. A Banshee is a female spirit or a fairy woman usually seen as an omen of certain death. Banshee Legends is derived from Irish and Scottish mythology, whereas is known as Binai. In the Gaelic law, she is called Binsaich. The origin of Banshees is not entirely known though it does seem to be an Irish creation. The most prominent theory suggests the legend originated from the cry of a barn owl. In ancient battles, the armies would start marching at dawn. Their movements would startle owls that were just settling down to sleep. The birds would then screech and fly away as the army approached. Their cry would alert the opposing army or city defenses of the coming threat. Naturally, many would die in these confrontations, so the owl's screeching cry came to be seen as a sign of death. Another theory claims that banshees originally came from keening women. Historical records show that keeners were active around the 8th century. Sometime after the 8th century, their popularity began to fade, but their legend lived on in the form of banshees. By the 14th century, banshee law was in full swing. They can be found in Irish, Scottish, and Norman literature during that century. By the 15th century, belief in banshees was so widespread that even the King James I of Scotland reported encountering one of them. In ancient Ireland and Scotland, mourning rites included a keening woman, known as a binke ointi. Such women would wail and weep for the deceased. Most often this act would come as a natural expression of grief from family members. Yet, one could also hire a binke ointi for added effect at funerals. Legends say that this sigh would come and keen with unparalleled poignancy for truly noble Irish families. But, being spirits, the sigh could often tell right away when a family member had died. So, a bean sigh would begin the morning rites of wailing, and the cry would drift over the Irish hills far faster than a message carrier could travel. The wailing of the banshee was thus the first news of death in the family. While the intentions of the Sihon noble, banshees inevitably developed a bad reputation and became heavily cursed and feared. There is little evidence to suggest that banshees ever actually killed anyone, except maybe by fright. But being disembodied spirits with chilling cries, they became associated with ghosts and other devilry. Banshees soon had a reputation of being hate-filled creatures. Some researchers have suggested that the Banshee could be linked to the mystical race to either Dedanon and related to the Morrigan, the triple goddess of fate, particularly in war. There is also a belief that Banshee myth came from the spirits of women who were murdered or died in childbirth. Others believe they are fairy queens who were driven underground by the arrival of human. Banshees have been described in many forms and shape. They are described as, an old woman dressed in black with long grey hair covering her face with a veil. An old woman with long white hair and red eyes, dressed in a green dress. A deathly pale woman with long red hair dressed in a white dress sometimes a shroud, a beautiful woman wearing a shroud, a headless woman naked from the waist up carrying a bowl of blood, a beautiful woman with silver white hair wearing a long shimmering silver dress, carrying, or using, a silver comb. People feared to pick up a comb they found on the floor lest they be taken by the fairies. Apparently the banshees were also shapeshifters that could take on any form, much like the goddesses of Celtic folklore and the Greek gods who are also shapeshifters. She may also appear, near a body of water, 
as a washerwoman, and is seen apparently washing the blood-stained clothes of the ones who are about to die. In this guise she is known as the Binai. The Binai, washerwoman, her Scottish counterpart, can be seen by a lake or river, washing the blood-stained clothes or armour of the one who will soon die. She is also more talkative than her Irish cousin, the Banshee, so she tends to give more specific details about the death that is waiting just around the corner. Sometimes a Banshee will perch on a windowsill like a bird, where she'll remain for several hours or even days until death comes to call. Often, as the Banshee escapes into the darkness, witnesses have described a bird-like fluttering sound. Thus, many believe that the Banshee is a bird-like creature. There are several purported Banshee chairs around Ireland, wedge-shaped rocks where she would sit and cry for general misfortunes, if there was no death to be attended to that is. Banshees are also capable of deep devotion. Each banshee serves a specific family and will spend centuries trailing the children of that family. They are also deeply devoted to their country, Ireland, and will attach themselves only to families who are descended from Celts, not Normans or Saxons. There are clues that suggest that banshees are attracted to wealth and nobility. Some legends claim that they only serve the ancient Celtic noble families, the O'Neills, the O'Breens, the O'Connors, the O'Grady's, and the Kavanaghs. Others claim that, before the death of an important leader, multiple banshees will come together in mourning. However most of the time, the first person to hear the banshee screech is the person who is about to die. There have been reported cases of encounter with Banshee. As well as warning families of an upcoming death, the Banshee also liked to cry at the crowning of a true king. One reported case of this happening was at the crowning of legendary Brian Borre who overthrew the O'Neills and began the O'Brien dynasty. Possibly the only example of a human Banshee appearance was in 1437. When a woman purporting to be a seer approached King James I of Scotland and correctly predicted his murder at the instigation of the Earl of Athol. In 1801 the Banshee paid a visit to the Commander-in-Chief of the British forces in Ireland. He had attended a party at Dublin Castle and invited a few guests back to his home in Mount Kennedy, Company Wicklow, afterwards. These guests, Sir Jonah Barrington and his wife, woke up at 2.30 am to what he described as plaintive sounds coming from outside his window. His wife and a maid were also awoken by it, and the sound later turned into the name Rossmore being screeched three times. The next morning, they were told that a servant, having heard odd sounds from Rossmore's room at 2.30 am, entered to find him dying. Spooky. Originally the banshee appeared to people who were about to suffer a violent and painful death, such as murder. In later stories, she wailed outside their door at night, usually around wooded areas close by, but it was rarely seen. Although banshees have been given bad reputation, they are really guardian spirits rather than harbingers of doom but their cry always spell disaster. The Banshee of Gaelic law is not an evil spirit at all, she's grieving for the one who is about to die and she's trying to warn the family of an impending death. Usually the first person that hears her cries is the one about to die.